Okay, it looks like we're almost done with the B section. This is the last one. Uh, we're going to evaluate variable expressions involving rational numbers. And let's get started and get her done. Okay, we're going to evaluate the expression for g equals negative 1. So we're looking at 15. I'm going to substitute inside parentheses 15.1 times negative 1 plus 10.6. Of course, we have to multiply before we add. So we've got negative 15.1 plus 10.6. And we're looking at the difference here, which is 4.5. And the uh, winner is negative. Negatives are larger. So we're talking about negative 4.5. Uh, okay, we've got 8 plus, in parentheses, negative 19.3, which is negative 11.3. Uh, negative 12 divided by negative 6 is 2, positive 2. That is negative 12 divided by negative 6. Uh, 4.6 times 4. Sorry, that's not what we're looking for there. There we go. And plus negative 17. 4 times 4.6 is 18.4 plus negative 17, and that's going to be 1.4. By the way, uh, when I did the 4.6 times 4, I did the carry in my head. It wasn't that hard. Uh, that is a 4, carry the 2, and that is 18.4. We had to move the decimal one place. Negative 0.3, 0 0.3 times negative 8. We need to be careful. We've got a double negative there, and that would be 24 if there were no decimals involved, but there is a decimal in one place, so 24. <clears throat> negative 18 over 2 is negative 9. T over S, so we're looking at 12 over negative 6, which is negative 2. C over D, that's 8 over negative 4, which is negative 2. And negative 8 over 4, which is negative 2. <laughs> and 18 over 14 plus 4. Um, this division line acts as a parenthesis around these, just so you know. That's 18 over 18 or 1. Q plus R, uh, negative 6 plus 6 over R, which is 6, is 0 over 6. Be careful. You can't divide by 0, but you can divide into 0. 6 goes into 0, 0 times. <clears throat> oh, now we've got a decimal. So we've got U times W. That is 11.6 times 4 minus 15.5. If you need to, you can do your multiplication on the side. 
looks like I'm looking at 46.4 uh, plus negative 15.5. And it might be helpful to do the subtraction on the side just to make sure we don't make a mistake. 46.4 minus 15.5 because we do have to do a little borrowing here. That is nine and zero and 30.9. And we've got, oh, 7.7 .7 times 4.9, sorry, we're looking for 4.9 minus six. So uh, 7.7 .7 times 4.9. Most people are going to do this multiplication. Um, there is sort of a shortcut. Uh, I could, uh, let me show you what I could do. I could change this. Uh, I'm going to ignore the decimals for a second and think of it as 77 times 49. Now I happen to know that 7 cubed is 343. And 49 is seven times seven. So this is the same as 343 times 11. And if I multiply by 11 times 343, it's 3773. And we've got two decimal places, so 37.73. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and multiply it out. That's three, carry the six. Seven times nine is 63 with a nine, six, nine. Carry the zero, that's gonna be an eight. 2, 7 times 4 is 28, plus 2 more is 30. And we've got a 3, and a 7, and a 1, and a 7, and a 3, and two decimal places, 37.73. Oh, almost forgot to subtract the 6, 37.73, and subtract the 6, and we got 31.73. Okay, so df, which is negative two times nine, plus c, all over d. That's negative 18 plus 16 over negative two, which is negative two over negative two, which is one. Negative eight over eight is negative one. Uh, negative 30.8, uh, we've got 30.8, it's negative, and we're adding 26.9. And we're looking at the difference because we've got a positive and a negative. Um, I like taking differences with the larger number, or the larger absolute value number on top. So I'm going to borrow. That makes that a 10, but it's really 9 now because I need an 18. That's a 9. Our decimal stays, and we borrowed. I don't want to forget to write that down. So it looks like 3.9, but it is negative. Okay, so we've got a negative 16 over negative 2 times negative 2 times 4, which is negative 16 over negative 16, multiply positive 16, which is negative 1. Don't want to make a sign error at that point. Not when we're almost done. Uh, I got a negative 6.9. Uh, we're multiplying that by 6. I'm going to go ahead and multiply it down here. That's 4, carry the 5, and that's 41. That's 36 and 5 makes 41. We've got a decimal and a negative, and we have to add 23. Again, we're looking at a difference here. Uh, that is 0 0.0. Uh, 3 from 11 makes 8 and two from three is one, and the negatives win. 
negative 18.4. Again, a lot of people are going to grab a calculator for this, and it's good practice to do it by hand. Uh, w is 4 over VW, that's 4 times 4, minus 18. In this particular case, the calculator would be slower. 4 over 16 minus 18, which is negative 2, is negative 2. Okay, do the challenge, and we've got a u squared, which is negative 7 squared. Parentheses are important. Um, that's because negative 7 squared is not the same as negative 7 squared. Be very careful of that. This says negative 49, and this says positive 49. This says negative 7 times negative 7, and this says negative 7 times 7. See the difference? So the parenthesis does matter when you're doing substitution. T is 2 plus u is negative 7 again, all over t squared, which is 2 squared. So it looks like we have 49 plus 2 plus negative 7 all over 4. And that's negative 5 and 49, which is 44, over 4, which is 11. Hopefully didn't make a mistake. Let's see what we got this time. XY, we've got 3 times 6. 6, I said. Minus Z squared. Be careful. Uh, the negative isn't inside the parentheses in this case. Minus X all over X. That's 18 minus 16 minus 3 over 3. Well, this is really plus a negative 16 and plus a negative 3. And it looks like we're looking at negative one third. Huh? What? What did I make a mistake at? Oh, I put in a positive 49. What did I do? Okay. Better. Sorry about that. Better do it again. <laughs> Negative 34.8 plus 33.6. We're looking at a difference because we have a negative and a positive. Uh, 6 from 8 is 2, 3 from 4 is 1, and the negatives win. What did I did on that last one? I think I forgot my negative on my 49. Negative 12 over 3 is negative 4. HJ, that's uh, negative 3 times negative 4 minus K over H minus J. It looks like we have 12 plus negative 18 all over negative 3 plus 4 which is negative 6 over 1. Talking about negative 6. <clears throat> DF squared, that's 7 times negative 1 squared minus 7 over 7 plus negative 1. That's going to be 7 minus 7 is 0 over 6, which is 0. NP, so we've got negative 10 times 3 minus P minus Q. Watch out, that double negative can give you trouble. All over N, 10 plus p, which is 3, and we'll put the parentheses around it. 
that's going to be negative 30 minus 3 plus 5 all over negative 7. Negative 33 plus 5 is negative 28. Negative 7, which is 4. VW, 12 times 8 over 12 minus 8 minus 12, which is 12 times 8 is 96 over, it's like negative 8. That's 12 plus negative 12, and we have a negative 8, which goes back to uh, I could have left this. Uh, I could have left this as twelve times eight, and then canceled my eights. But this happens to be negative twelve. Okay, D F G. Eight, negative four, negative one, plus D. Or F. You have to multiply these together. That's going to give you your 32 plus 8, which is 40, over negative 4, which happens to be negative 10. DF is 3 times negative 20 minus D all over 9 times D plus f, 27 plus negative 20 is 7, uh, negative 60 minus 3 is negative 63, and that is negative 1. Looks like these are working out kind of nice. Uh, gh, that's going to be negative 16 times negative 2 plus 2 times negative 16, all over g, negative 16, minus negative 2. So it looks like we've got 32. I'll go backwards. 32 plus negative 32, all over uh, negative 14, which is 0 over negative 14. That's 0. And we've got a B is 14. Plus C minus D. Be careful, that's a negative, double negative there, plus 16 over 4. Now I can add these in whatever order I like as long as I make this plus a positive one. Now I can order. Uh, Add it in any order I like. That's going to be 20 plus 6, which is 36 over 4, which is 9. Negative 2. Q is 6. R is 3. Minus Q. Uh, plus 3. all over r, which is 3. That's going to be negative 36 plus negative 6 plus 3, all over 3. And that's just negative 3, so it's negative 39 over 3, which is negative 13. And finally done. Uh, it took a little while. Hope you all have better luck than I did. Uh, hopefully you'll keep your, uh, keep your signs straight. Good luck. And we are.